Welcome to the channel, Excellence, where we strive for excellence. We strive to be one better than what we were yesterday. Why? Because we were gifted to stay in our highest state of consciousness, in our highest state of thinking, reasoning, willing, and understanding. That's called maturing as an adult. To be a mature adult is to think, reason, will, and understanding without any judgment. Freely. See, to be a true God, to be a true God, and to be able to make a decision, you must have the true consciousness of fairness. If you don't have the consciousness of fairness, you can never be a God. And when I say God, only God can judge me. So, if you out there trying to judge me and be a God, make sure that your heart is pure. Make sure that you don't have no malicious intent up front. Make sure you can judge without malice. If you can't do that, you don't try to judge me. If you're not a God. Now, if you're a God and standing up in your highest state of consciousness, by all means necessary, your job is to keep me in check. And my job is to keep you in check. So if you're standing up in your spirit as a God, and I say something to you that you're doing wrong, and you know you're a God, how could you get upset? See, that's what a true friend or family member is. They're not going to tell you what you want to hear. They're going to tell you the truth. See, the only way that you can grow in this world is to root the truth. Truth is what is. It don't need no support at all. The truth is the only thing in this world that don't need support. And the truth is the only thing, the only thing in this world that will never change. So you can't change the truth. You cannot change it. You can try, but to try to change the truth is to lie, twist it. Once you are able to see the truth within yourself, then you can demonstrate the truth to everyone. You were put on this plane of things manifest to live according to the five highest principles to known, that is known to man and to exercise the five senses that dwells within. Your first one is love. Once you learn to love, you good. Then you got to demonstrate that truth. See, we're on the truth now. Then you get the peace. Once you start demonstrating truth, then you can find peace. Once you find peace within yourself, that's when you seek the freedom. The freedom to just smile and be happy every day and to live freely 
like you should, like the universe intended for us to live in harmony with, other, with each other, at peace with each other, and in love with each other. Can y'all imagine a world like that? Well, that's what it takes, your imagination, to create it. In order to have a world like that, all you have to do is keep imagining it for yourself. And trust me, you will make it manifest. You want to reach eternal life, eternal happiness, you got to seek. Seek and you shall find. Ask and you shall receive. Surround yourself with quality, spirited, loving people. Not spirit of talking people. See, you got a lot of people that carry Bibles, Korans, talk, go to church, go to the mosque, do a whole lot. But watch their actions. Because actions speak louder than words. See, a lot of them people are broke. A lot of rich people are broke. They really broke. They really have nothing. You don't think you could be rich and broke? I can go cut down one tree and make it in the paper, get some ink, and print you out a gazillion dollars and give it to you. But I can give you a broken home, a broken marriage, broken friendships, broken businesses. I mean, just everything broken. And you got all this stuff that shine. Well, let me tell you something about all that gold and all them trickets that you work so hard for. Do you think you could take that shit with you? The Egyptians tried. And they can't rest. Because y'all trying to y'all then rob their graves. Now you got to be some kind of wicked. I mean, you got to be a wicked individual to go and turn over a tomb. A grave. I don't ain't no archaeology, no scientists, all of that. You do you touch anything on this earth but them graves? See them tomb raiders, grave robbers. I couldn't seek your grave to steal your riches so that I can glorify myself. See, that's why money and material things ain't shit but garbage and trash. Food. I don't care what kind of meal you prepare. You can prepare the best of meal. A million dollar gourmet meal can be the top shelf in this world. But I guarantee you, you can't buy the appetite to eat it. You can't buy the appetite to eat it. See? Money can't even buy the stuff that's going to really fill your heart up. See, if you're trying to fill your mind up with material things... <laughs> You're going to be mind blind and in a mind blowing decisions all the time. But if you know how to feed your heart and make your heart grow fonder, 
and to have a bigger heart. See, the bigger the power plant. See, the heart is the engine. Man, I didn't tow this sucker down. I started out with a four-cylinder. Built it up to a six-cylinder. To a V8. To a V12. To a V16 with twin turbos. See, that's how you build that heart. They say, dang, all the stress you done been on the... I know we got to do an EKG on you. I know you did a heart attack. No, this heart running off is powered, is powered by Corvette. <laughs> Shoot, sometimes it was powered by Evette or Lovette. <laughs> well, it started out being powered with a Chevette. <laughs> I came to all y'all in love. I'm going to leave y'all in peace because I got to eat right now. So y'all have a blessed, positive day. I'm out.